Happy Earth Day, April 22nd every year. We are going to get good at drawing not only your side of the earth, us Americans, but the other side as well, which shows other continents. Ooh, And then we're going to make a picture of you holding the earth and put some recyclables on the picture to help you guys help save the earth by recycling for Earth Day. So let's start with your worksheet and decide before we go on your big masterpiece which side of the earth you're better at or that you want to do. So what I help you guys do is anchor your hand down and start with a circle. If you even know a protractor starts in the middle doing a circle for you, but if you put your wrist down and just kind of do a really sketchy circle, it usually comes good. Now I'm gonna do both sides. I'd like for you to learn how to do both sides of the earth and then look at how they're created. We live in Florida, Florida right there. So we're gonna do, I think it looks like a toe pointing down. We're gonna do our area a little bigger. And then you got Texas over here, Florida. We come down, we got Central America over here, Guatemala. And we come up here towards Canada and all the way up there towards Alaska. Now you can see that shape. I'm looking at this, the source, and I'm drawing. And I'm gonna come down here, come out. Now you wanna look at what your source is. And this is from a Google search from the internet. So that way when you do it, ooh, I don't see Hawaii or some of the little islands. So I'm gonna try to do that. So after you do that, let's try the other side, all right? Ooh, let's try to look at it. Try to do a little bit of, okay, this one's Africa. I usually try to do around here. Okay, that big continent there and attaches. Then we got Europe over here. You got this big area up here, Ch China. Then you got it down and you got Cambodia, I know is right there, which down leads down to these little islands, Philippines. You got Australia for our Aussie friends here. And we're gonna go right off. Okay, we just did two Earths really quickly. Next for your practice day, you're gonna try shading. And what they did on our examples, can you show the screen again, is they did blue and green for the areas of the earth and then bled it out. All right, now I'm gonna decide which one, which side. Hmm, I think I'm gonna go for the other side of earth, right? Do you wanna do your side where you live, America, or do you wanna do the other side? Once you've done your practice sheet, you're gonna then do your, decide which area you want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend more time on Asia. All right, so once you do it, you're gonna really quick and sketchy do looking at the source, draw your, doesn't have to be perfect, remember? The satellite view, you could do even clouds on it. But then we're gonna do the blue and green and bleed it out or the watercolor to make it look more like Earth. Now your goal is for the bigger one, after you do your practice ones, is to have you start with a circle, have your arms up, lifting up Earth or reaching towards it. Remember to do a circle for a head two lines for a neck and try to start with a triangular body and make yourself buff. Then you try to do like, okay, the bones, the shoulder bone up to the muscles, to the forearm, then one, two, three, four, five fingers. It's how to make yourself a little more buff and you wanna just be triangular to start and then you can make yourself look as amazing as possible. Down here, you wanna leave a ground since we could get little pieces of trash and glue them on to show that you recycle to help the earth for Earth Day. All right, so over and out from today's lesson. And I'd like to show you though, hmm, what colors am I gonna use before we totally say over? I'm gonna use what color for water? Yes, traditionally you use blue and you bleed it out. And you wanna show different shades of blues and greens with you can either use the watercolors or the Crayolas, which will both bleed out. All right, so I got this far in our short introduction to Earth Day. And then we're gonna discuss different ways you can do what's called saving the earth by recycling, preserving water, and um, helping. Over and out.